Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to a brand new Friday Night Funkin' mod video. It's been a hot minute, the community has been kind of uh, dying down a bit, but it seems like we're back with a another big mod update. And uh, yeah, Friday Night Funkin', Doki Doki Takeover uh, Update Plus or Plus Update, I forgot which one. It's one of the two, but yeah, we're back with this mod. Apparently, it's like two to three hours long or something crazy like that, so uh, we're going to have a pretty long video. But uh, yeah, I right, so let's get straight into it. And uh, yeah, wow. So we have this menu now. I don't know if it's different. I think it is. Story mode. Okay, so yeah, it resets everything. So yeah, we are playing through the entire mod, by the way. But uh, apparently this week right here, uh, it was remixed. Or reduxed, I forgot which one. It was one of the two. It Basically, they changed it a bit. So let's see how that goes. So it's actually different from the Versus Monica mod now. The sprite. Huh? I thought they deleted me after what I did to my friends. But where am I now? Beep. Oh, hello? Ski debt boop. You wanna sing? Beep die. Things are happening really fast. But you know what? I'd love to. Usually I play piano while I sing, but this is a bad change of pace. So yeah. Alright, let's go. Wait, is this remix? Surely. I think it is. Yep, 100%. I remember the original song. And I practiced before this video, so I shouldn't be rusty as frick. Oh yeah, look, look at the new boyfriend sprite. I just noticed that. The sprite's still like the original, but it looks a little bit different. Okay, come on, let's go. Yo, okay. This is gonna be good. Oh, frick. Okay, I screwed that up. Okay, unfortunately, there's three misses, but whatever. We are just starting. I mean, I don't really have an excuse. I did literally practice before this uh, video. Scuddy Bip. You kept up really well with my song. Oh, I haven't felt this happy in a while. Could we sing again? Beep. Alright, here we go. Who in the hell are you? Huh? Hello? Wait. Is that my microphone? How the hell did you get that? And what is that worm doing here? Bip. Didn't have enough fun making a fool of me last time you showed up? Now you're bringing more of your hideously attractive friends here to mock me once again. Hey, it's not... You, give me that back. I have another score to settle. Huh? No, wait, I was just about to... I said give it. No! Here we go. Isn't this song, like, really hard? Okay, we got the remix.
Let's go. I'm loving the remixes though. You know, I'm scared for one song and one song only, and that's Epiphany. Y'all know why. If y'all see the original video I made on this mod, you know why I'm absolutely terrified for Epiphany. I mean, I've improved in skill a lot since then, so maybe it won't be so bad. And well, I semi-recently played Epiphany in the Unique Geese mod, so... It should. It should maybe work out. I like how they made the sprite look a little bit more like the actual proper sprite when Monica's outside of the game. Okay, we have the uh, Switch. Don't think this was in the original song, was it? Okay, pop off. All right. First, you steal my things, and then you pull something like that. Who do you think you are? Now step aside. <laughs> I don't think I will. You on the other hand. What are you? Oh my god! No way guys, the game crashed. I can't believe it. Girlfriend, please don't do the funny neck thing. That's pretty cringe. Don't do it. That's cringe. Remember. You're doing the funny- No, no, no. No funny neck. No funny neck. No- Oh, you did the funny neck. I hate you now. There, no more distractions. Ski dip? Translation, girlfriend. Let's get back to singing, shall we? Hmm? Aggressive beep bop noises. Oh, her? Hey, let's not worry about her, okay? Come on, I've got a very special song I wanted to sing. Continuation of angry beep bops. One more song. Oh, I forgot. No, okay. I thought they were pulling some garbage at the very start of the song. My bad. You're not supposed to hit those. Okay, let's go. Okay, boyfriend sprite is angry. Yo! Okay, let's go! I'm guessing those notes are gonna start coming in now. I just hate the fact that they're insta death notes. Like, why? I will still forever hate death notes, but whatever, man. It's whatever. We've, we've already dealt with these before. And a song that's much worse than this one. In terms of death notes.
chill out with the glitches, bro. Oh, great. They're adding them into a bunch of notes now. I got so stressed when those notes exist, man. Because it's just instant death. There's no- not damage. No, just death. Okay. This is where I start missing a bunch of notes on purpose so I don't die. We good? Aha! I should know better. I'm trying to interfere with people's love lives again. I'll leave you be. Let's go. So you weren't the one who stole my mic. No, wait, no. My bad, I'm doing the funny accent. So you weren't the one who stole my mic. The blue haired kid gave it to me when I showed up. I don't know where he got it. I don't even know how I got here, for that matter. Hmm. What exactly happened after an unintentional duet? I got rid of everyone. Temporarily. It's something I could do, but that's a long story. And that included that kid's girlfriend. Haha, <laughs> old habits die hard, as they say. Ah, oh, yes, let me casually delete people, man. Ah, uh, nah. Old habit. Delete people from existence. You got his girl, too. Haha, <laughs> I bet you really, uh... Not saying that because my parents are in the next room. That worm off. Wish I was dead to see the look on his hideous baby face. He was mad. Hey. Hmm? The performance wasn't half bad. Really. Care for another song? Yep. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Now we actually have this. Okay. I forgot, was this in the base week last time, or wasn't this a bonus song? This is a bonus song, wasn't it? So, okay, that's cool. It's a part of main week now, I think. gonna vibe through this. Oh, this is also remixed as well, 100%. Because I remember last time it was just the song in the background, like the instrumental, and then you just sang over it, I think. So, yeah, this is a completely new remixed version of the song. I mean, it did say they reduxed the entire week, so that makes sense.
Oh, I thought that was it. All right, let's go. I have seed it. Nice. Prologue songs are now available in free play. Okay, so yeah, we have to unlock everything in free play. Um, do I just hit enter? Oh, okay. Yep, Sayori. Yep, we're here now. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Just like, yay. Hey, rap. Like, oh, we're, we're stuck in another world. Nah, rap. <laughs> nope. It appears that we have visitors. Seriously, Sayori? Brought a boy to the club? Hey, I wasn't expecting anyone new. We haven't even put out flyers for the club yet. Look at that, Suki. We have another girl, too. Empty thoughts? <laughs> Literally girlfriend every five seconds. He even... Bro, brain. He... If I knew we were expecting more members... I would have asked Suki to bake some welcome cupcakes. Bro, I'm so tired. I'm like brain dead right now. Oh, and maybe I could have asked Yuri to make some tea as well. I need to write this down for later. Plan tea party for club soon. Sounds like you're already very excited about our new guests. You haven't even asked for their names yet. Ah, oh, right. Hey, silly me. What are your names, New Little Rush Club attendees? Beepski. <laughs> Happy gesture. To her boyfriend and girlfriend. I still love, I think I mentioned this in the original mod, but I still love how they just understand that. They're just like, oh. Oh, okay, boyfriend and girl. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, you look so cute together. That's cute and all. But, like, what are your names? Beefski. Another happy gesture. Yes, we know that you guys are dating. We want to know your names. Beefski dip. Beep. Beep D. Ski dip. I don't like them already. They're already messing with me. That's if you're not so harsh. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry about that. If you don't want to tell us your names, and that's okay. That is their names. I'm Sayori. A lovely lavender lady over there is Yuri. And that Suki is the one who's real sassy today. With introductions aside, we asked you that these microphone what these microphones are for? I was just about to ask that. Nobody didn't confuse this place with the music club. Boop D. You really want to sing with us? I'm not so sure how comfortable I feel doing that. Ski dip do. What do you mean I have to? <laughs> yeah, literally, you have to. You're in a mod after all. Your sole purpose right now is to sing, Yuri. You know, I've been working so hard with writing poems lately. On writings and poems lately. I think having fun, a fun singing session with everyone is the perfect break we all need. <laughs> yeah, frick you, bro. You're singing. I mean, think about it. Songs are just poems with music behind them, aren't they? Which is true. I bet we'd all be great at this. Here, I'll go first. Three, Let's two, go. One, Oh god, is this the song where something goes wrong, or is it the song after this? I'm not used to the notes being this slow, I usually like them a bit faster.
You know what's crazy? I st I still need to play uh, Doki Doki Plus. I don't like the music, bro. The music is still so suspicious at that part, man. See, that wasn't so hard at all. In fact, it was a lot of fun, too. Hmm. Heh, <laughs> did I do a good job? Happy gesture. Beep. Oh, I'm so happy you two are enjoying your time here. That's what I do to make sure everyone in the club has a bright- has- Bro, please, three hours of sleep, brain, work. Make sure everyone in the club has bright, happy smiles. After all, I am the club president. Yep. We know that. And we know the game doesn't like that too much. Oh no, this is this one I the song. Okay. Oh boy. Man, I really hope nothing goes wrong. Right at the beat drop, too. I think. Oh no, that happens, okay. I'm just waiting. We all know what happens in this song. The, the little funny. Oh, oh my god! And yep, we're gonna pretend like it never happened. This Doki Doki lore. Yep, and we're back with these two. What a lovely performance that was. I know you had, didn't you? Today has been one of the only real times I've tried to sing in front of strangers. And we'll edit all the practice I had spin off. Bro. Not spin off, it's pit bro. Actually. Brain. Stop. I get like you're dead tired, but like, bro. Read. <laughs> I'm glad that all the practice had paid off. I quite like this song choice as well. Where was it from? Oh, I wrote that song. It's something I spent a lot of long nights working on. It was meant for someone who means a lot to me. Fortunately, a lot happened and I lost my chance to sing it to them. I don't know where I am now, so I don't know if I'll ever get to share it with them. Though I don't know if they'll even want to hear it. Ah, uh, such a tragic story you found yourself entangled in. I can promise that this place is one of no such tragedies. I'll be around whenever you have a song in your heart that needs to be sang. This guy's awfully flirtatious all of a sudden, especially after he snapped at me and that kid earlier. Well, if I didn't end up here, it would have been the recycling bin instead. True. Hope the others are okay. Tsuki, Yuri, Sayori. After what happened, I thought restoring their character files and leaving them would be what's best for their club and for the one I loved. Is something that matters? Uh, I'm fine. I don't know what that was. Sayori song. Sip. Girlfriend countdown unlocked. Oh, you can oh, okay. So you can toggle that or not. Uh, one question I do have. Where are they? Wait, no, not that. Where are they? Save. Self awareness on. That's a that's a thing. Unlockables. Oh, okay. So that's off by default. So I guess we have no costumes yet, because I know that's a feature. I wanted to see that real quick. Anyways, Natsuki, my sweet baka. 
my favorite songs. Actually, no, Epiphany is still my favorite. Even though it's like the hardest one in the entire mod. Okay, you've convinced me. Oh? You better not tell us to anyone, but that's why I sing in front of the mirror and took my hairbrush. Oh, my dad isn't home, though. Uh huh. <laughs> hey, I heard that, you know. It's just picturing you doing that. It's quite an adorable mental image. Shut it and stop calling me cute. I'm not cute. Turns into Buff Suki. Uh, I shouldn't have said anything. Let's just get this started. Let's go. The freaking Snail's House vibe songs. I'm ready. Here we go. This is one of my favorite weeks, guaranteed. It's lit It literally sounds like Pixel Galaxy. Like, am I wrong? Here we go! I love the difficulty spike, too. Frick you, I hate getting misses. No. How? Is that new, or was that there before? I can't tell. Huh. Could you keep up with that one? Giggling. You both skeet. Uh, stop calling me cute. I don't you boys calling me cute, too. That's extra embarrassing. He's the only boy here in SCP. Well, I mean to ask a good friend of mine to join the club as well, but I bet that dummy's just gonna join the anime club instead. I know I should've tried something. No, I knew I should've tried something. Luckily, music like that is the only kind I listen to. So anyone who knows how to separate expectations, it's me. Hit it! Oh, really now? Oh, this is the one that goes hard, isn't it? Yep, got the little decorations. Let's go.
Still love this song, man. All right. And we go back to them. Those girls have been giving me dirty looks ever since I got here. Did I do something wrong? Ah, I see you've noticed my darling fellow schoolmates. I've gotten quite the flock of dedicated fans here. It's only natural when you're the most popular individual in your school. It was like they're all jealous of you being able to... I don't even know how the frick to say that. No, 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 wait, I'm dumb. Peak my interest so quickly. They'd kill just to spend one free to with me, unfortunately. It's not worth my time. <laughs> That's, uh... Most of your own little fan base where you come from, no? Oh, trust me. Oh, trust me, she does. Go on Tumblr. Go on any art website, bro. That ain't gonna be it, man. Some people say I do, but I... But personally, it feels like everything I did back at my school but completely under the radar. Never set out to be popular, though. I just wanted to share my passions with anyone who wanted to listen. Thanks to that, I met my amazing group of friends that are now breaking and dying, probably. Ah, did I just see? But why? You're doing that thing again, Monica. You know, you could always tell me whatever's the matter. I'm okay, I'm okay. There's no need to worry about me. <laughs> ah, if you insist. In that case, I'd like to know more about where you're from. Continue to intrigue me with each conversation. I can try my best to do that, yeah. Is something happening that's causing these effects? The game barely kept itself together when everyone wasn't there. If something goes wrong... Yep. Alright. Yuri time. Time to have stuff go wrong. I think I'm done for now. I feel really dizzy after that one. That's okay. Go rest your vocal cords. Confused glances. Be dip. Be d d skip. We'll skip. And well, it looks like you're the only one left, Yuri. <laughs> Run. I know you can do it, Yuri. I bet you have one of the nicest singing voices ever. First, having to read poems aloud to the club. Now singing too. This club continues to ask so much out of me. <laughs> I know I mentioned this in the original mod video too, but I still love the fact you could tell these songs are composed by different people. Just by the boyfriend voice alone as well. Yo! Such a chill song, though. As we all know, it doesn't stay chill for long. When we get to the next one.
Oh, you hear the music. Mm, I don't like that. Hear your singing voice. It's amazing. Sing again, sing again. I want to hear it. Hey. Are you okay, Natsuki? Bleh, I'm not feeling so good. Oh my god! I'm not feeling so good. Uh, I'm gonna walk Natsuki to the nurse's office. Fun, fun tip. We all know this from base game. Never leave <laughs> Yuri alone with the player. Specifically, never when Yuri is glitchy like this, when the game's doing a little goofy, never leave Yuri alone with a boy. Don't ever do that. Bad idea. Very bad idea. <laughs> you guys have fun singing, though. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sing is much nicer than I thought. It's a nice alternative means to release my emotions. Yeah, we all know what the other alternative means is, Yuri. Let's sing again, right now. Ha! Uh... Boyfriend's like, hey yo, what you doing? Three, two, one. I just love how downhill the song goes, like, so fast. You know, we all be chillin' until, uh, Yuri goes a bit cuckoo. Yep, here we go. Ah, oh, nah, bro. Oh, hell, the nah, bro. What the? Yeah, rip. Hey, yo, bro, six feet. Back up. I saw that girlfriend's like breaking in the background. Yuri's right up to boyfriend, and boyfriend's just like, oh, this is fine. He's not worried at all. He's just like, oh, this is fine. Oh, God. I, why am I failing? That should be easy, bro. What? Yep. <laughs> I'm doing that for every laugh, I don't care. Why well, must we stop now? Let me scream every lyric trapped in my sick head. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> you aren't supposed to see that. I appreciate you sticking around for so long to sing with us. You made us the happiest you've been in so long. Especially after what Monica did to us. Bip. Does her name ring a bell? That must mean. You must have been the one who deleted her. Aha, uh -huh, then you must be the one who brought us all back too. Actually, no, she did that. Well, we deleted her, but she's the one that brought everything back. I think. Was that how it worked? Oh no, wait, she was the one that deleted the game. I forgot about that. Cancellation. Hold up, I did... I knew you and that girlfriend of yours weren't from around here. Your dad is so much different. What even is a .xml anyways? 
fact, you two never existed on this computer until just a few moments ago when we first saw you. You have done the impossible. Have you broke through the digital world from the real world? We defined all logic and science just for us. How you really have made us so happy. Now you're finally here. We'll all be happy and sing together. Forever. Stop the cap. Forever. Forever. Oh my god. Now nah, bro, she dying. Forever. Terrified beep boop noises. The literature club? I do admit, I never fancied myself. The reading or writing type? That comes as a shock to many when they all say I have such a way with words. And they're so right. That club meant everything to me. It was my chance to finally get people invested in this world of endless possibilities that I found myself so engrossed in all my life. It brought people who wouldn't have ever interacted with each other in any circumstance together. Those people became my friends. My best friends. My only friends. Something must have driven you away from all that to a whole new school for that matter. I was caught up in epiphany. Oh my god, is that a reference to the hit song epiphany? Nothing in my life was real, and I desperately wanted the one thing that was truly real. I was given a window to something greater, but the world set up to make me watch everyone else have what was on the other side. My friends here, Yuri Natsuki, they were allowed to have the one thing I wanted, so... So you got rid of them, just like you tried here, hmm? Uh, I'm sorry, I forgot my stupid actions carry over here when I thought I learned my lesson. Well, you did bring us all back. As good as ever, no? No hard feelings here. I guess so. Oh, nothing wrong happens here because of it. Before I ended up here, I also brought uh, all my friends back. And I planned to just stay gone, with my data completely erased. So they could be happy. Things didn't work, but things didn't work right when everyone wasn't present. If that's still true with me not there. Yep. Nope. Time to run. Ah, I made a mistake. Monica, what's happening to you? This is really bad. I got it. Yep. Wait, that kid's there. The kid is there too. Damn it! I didn't know how his girlfriend even got there. But my friends are acting like this. Yep. Nope. We're getting out of here. Nope. I gotta fix this somehow. What in the fresh hell is all this? There's gotta be something, something. My character data is acting up too. Even from here, there's a chance that I still have some, uh, residual, resid bro, what? Residual data over there. Maybe if I just try this. Bye bye. He <laughs> bro his face. He's, he's done. And just like that, the only one to ever truly intrigue me has left in the flash. Ah, uh, woe is me. What am I saying? This sucks. Rip Bozo. Imagine. Yep, in we go. It... It worked. Monica! And the game's gonna crash? Yep, okay. Let's reopen that. Alright, we are back at we are back in the game. Here we go. Anything we unlock in uh Unlockables? Nope, still just girlfriend countdown. I thought appearance would do something, but nope. Yeah, nah. I'm assuming it's uh, gonna unlock somewhere else. Oh, yo, those two. I could actually see those two being friends. Yuri Song's now available in free play. Dual Demise unlocked. Yep. Alright. Monica. Monica, we've been waiting for you. It's not like you'd be this late to a club meeting. 
It appears that you brought some new members with you too. Yeah, so they completely forget everything. Because of Ripbozo, the game's a little goofy. Seriously, Monica, you brought a boy. Well, at least you found another girl too. But it doesn't make me feel so small compared to the rest of you. Oh, hi. Stare. Stare. Hello, you two. It's been a while. Bip. Sorry for what I did before. And I'm sorry for inadvertently putting you two in another situation, just like that soon after. But now that I'm here, everything should be stable. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I'm glad you two are safe now. Sky DB. Uh, you have no idea how happy I am to hear that. Okay, everyone. I like you to meet the newest members of the Literature Club. I've got a fun way I'd like to introduce them. Hey, despite all that stressful stuff that just happened, you have enough energy left for one more song. Gotta be beat. Then let us do it. Three, two, one. Okay, just making sure the game audio is capturing. I was about to be like, I swear to God, if the game audio isn't capturing after all this time, bro. This song still goes so hard. I think soon we're going to get to the, uh, besides the Redux week, I think soon we're going to get to the new content. Yep. So, yep, we have the festival. Then there's these two. This, I'm pretty sure the festival was the last one in the original game, right? In the original mod. So, we have two more after this. And I'm assuming that one of them is the Encore Week that has been teased forever. So you two must be the other members that Monica and the other girls kept mentioning. They seem to know you quite well, though I haven't seen you very good at a club meeting before. I guess I did get roped in this whole literature club thing not too long ago. Must have missed when you were around. Glad you showed up today, though. The old singing thing has had the club really inspired. For the school festival later today, they decided to sing live. It's their club's special activity. I'm not sure what sing has to do with literature, but everyone seems to be on board. Can't be ex can't be upset at it though. I haven't seen Sayori this happy in a while. I haven't had I haven't had to go out of my way to wake her up for school nearly as much as I do. You try outside with a happy smile, with humming happy tunes. But if you guys didn't show up, I would have had to be the one to sing with them. I'm not really. I'm not ready to embarrass myself in front of peers like that. 
Plus, none of them could even figure out a song they wanted to do it. You think you guys can help them out? Happy gesture. Beep. A whole backlog of songs. That should give them all a nice selection to choose from. I'll let them know once they come back from prepping. Uh, see you two tonight at the festival. I still love the fact that, like... Audio is all set up and ready to go when you are. I still love that boyfriend, since he's been through all these mods and he's kind of also, like, in a sense, the new player, in the sense of, like, so many mods that the player that is controlling him has used. So it's kind of to the point where, like, he's been to so many different mods to the point where he just has all of these songs backlogged. He just has all these songs with him. Thank you so much for helping us. It's funny seeing you managing all that music tech. Yeah, you're like our own personal MC. <laughs> I wonder what that. MC, wow, I really want... In more ways than one. <laughs> I wonder if that joke works in translation. Are you going to go first, Yuri? Mm -hmm. I found myself particularly immersed in the story of the track I picked. A song of two young lovers who wander into shady parts of their lively hometown to come face to face with a monster. Yep, we all know what this is. One ready to exact the will of to in exact the will of God upon them. With a chainsaw. Yep. Three, two, one, go. I still love the fact that they put in all these uh covers. Oh yeah, I forgot Monica has Glitcher. Oh, that's gonna be fun. It's funny that at that part she sounds almost identical to it too. Man, I still gotta play the new update of Friday Night Fever. I really gotta get on that. Oh, this is the part that was, like, really hard. Because it would drain your health. Nah, but you know what makes zero sense about this, actually, now that I think about it? You don't play as Boyfriend in the Friday Night Fever mod. You play as Fever. Or Caesar. I don't know which one we call him in the mod. But, like, we play as him. We don't play as Boyfriend. So it kind of makes me question it a bit, like, how, how did you get your hands on the song, buddy? Or is it one of those things where Boyfriend can just pick out a song from any mod that exists for his game? Maybe it's that. I don't really know what the Boyfriend lore in Doki Doki Takeover is. Stop laughing, bro. What's funny? Exactly, bro. What's funny? Then we got uh, the Cappy song, right? I'm going to be honest. There were way too many songs in that list you gave us, and I didn't want to sift through every single one. This song had a picture of a cute cat on the album art, though, so I naturally went with that one. Cue the music. Yep. Three, two, one. 
I forgot, which one is it? Okay, it's this one. Beethoven. Oh god. Okay, I'm doing alright. Only one miss. Let's go. There was one song in that list that popped out to me. The song was both happy and up. And it felt really sad too. Yeah, this is the soft mod one, right? Stuff that's both sad and happy, in a way, really speaks to me. Eh, I don't know. It's complicated. Yep. Three, two, one, go. It's complicated, it's the name of the song, of course. I don't think there's been an update for the soft mod for a long time, has there? Are they still making that mod? Yep, the good part, well, the whole song is good, you know what I mean, the best part. Alright. Now, Monica. There's a lot of songs that would have worked for me to sing. I'm happy that you even cataloged all of our songs, too. Yeah, okay, so... Basically, every mod that exists, this dude's just like, Oh, okay. These songs are fire. Let me keep them. But this one in particular felt like something people would want me to sing. I think... 
I think it's the name. Yeah. Isn't this where I literally guessed it? Like, right from the start? Yep. This is my practice song. I should be able to FC this. This is a song I literally practice on all the time. Including before this video. Yep. I'm going to put my utmost focus in this. Here we go. Let's go. All right. I think we're set. I think we're set for the FC. There we go. All right. <laughs> Bro, why you laugh like that and then dip? Oh, okay, we're, we're still here. I appreciate you two swinging by to help us put on this performance. On behalf of the Literature Club, I thank you. Cheery face. Ski, yeah. Now that everyone's left, there's something I want to ask. You aren't from here, from what I've seen. And you can enter and leave this place very easily now, so I must ask. Is there a way to bring us back with you? This game is very limiting with what we can do. The others will remain blissfully unaware regardless of what happens. But if they could have the opportunity to see what's beyond their school and homes, I think they would really love it. And maybe, just maybe, I can finally find the one who I've been longing for and see them face to face. And maybe... Mirror mode and randomized notes have been unlocked. Epiphany unlocked. Yep. Real quick, is that uh, one of the only things that was unlocked? I'm confused, wait. Hold on. Modifiers. Okay, no, it's just stuff. Uh, options. Still that? Bruh. Wasn't there a costumes option somewhere? Yep, Epiphany. Alright. I guess we have to keep playing to unlock everything. Encore. Here we go, the new stuff. A few days since the festival, Marcus stands alone in the school's music room. The Lich Club has been occupying the space a lot more since their recent club uh, inductees introduced them all to singing. 
So much so that they often end up using the room more than the actual music club on occasions. With her moments alone, Monica reflects on everything that's happened recently. It's unreal just how nice things have become. I don't know what I did to deserve a second chance after everything I did before, but I know I'll keep things right this time. For my friends. Aha. Back when it... Bro, brain. Back when it was just me left. I remember telling the one I love how I would love to have a rap artist join the club one day. Wait, did you? Is that actually a line? I didn't expect that to actually happen. And for them to be the one to... Uh, help save me and give me this extra chance. I can't thank them enough. My guess reflection is interrupted by the sound of footsteps entering the music room. A familiar pink haired individual walked in. Kirby! Ah, Natsuki, I'm surprised to see you here. I expect you and the others to be still be in classes. I told my teacher I was taking a bath and break, though I actually left to go find you. I am thinking about stuff recently. I wanted to come talk with you about it. I'm always all ears. What's on your mind? I feel like I can't keep up with you guys. Oh, in what way? I had that feeling deep down for a while. Even as far back as when it was just the four of us in the club. Now the club has grown to seven members. Yeah, that's true. And with Sing on top of that, I feel like I can't compete. Everyone feels so much better, and we find it Sing, and I just can't stand out among all the voices. This club is one of the best things I've got right now, is a comfortable place away from home, with this feeling being overshadowed and thinking I have to try so hard to not be forgotten. Natsuki, I can assure you, the bottom of my heart, that you're honestly one of the most standout writers and singers in the whole club. I don't think anyone can capture the unique style you bring to everything you do. And everyone knows it too. The impression you leave in the club is too special to be forgotten. We never want to leave you out. Now Suki crosses her arms and looks away with unsure expression. I can prove it to you. Here. Why don't we sing a quick song? I can assure you. Once you start getting into your flow, you'll see what makes you so special. Alright, here we go. Okay. Yep, and we're Monica now. Bro, I want to learn what genres these songs are. Like, the songs that sound like Snail's House, genre Snail's House, like, make songs with. I just want to know, bro, because I want to compose songs like this, 100%. Here we go, we're up to completely new content now. Wait, was that Wink to the Beat? I think that was to the Beat, wasn't it? Yo! We got the decorations again. Oh, I gotta focus for this part. If anybody in the comments knows what genre of music that these songs are, like these really upbeat ones, please let me know. Because I genuinely want to research this genre, and I really want to make music for it. Alright, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Those fast notes alone make you stand out so much. And when you consider everything else, that's a whole bundle of stunning individuality. Heh <laughs> That did help ease my mind. Bro, the smile. You know what? Next time I see that boyfriend guy, I'm gonna hit him with the fastest solo he's ever heard. <laughs> yeah, that's how you do it. 
I really appreciate the help, Monica. Not too long after that, Suki took her leave. Another familiar face entered the music room. A certain lovely lavender lady, to be exact. Ah, uh, hopefully you're not interrupting anything. Here are no worries, I've just been pacing around. Perfect time until our next club meeting. Hmm, this might be a little odd for me to say out of nowhere, but... Thank you. Oh, what for? With all we've been doing in the club, that discomfort I feel, trying to commit to uh, presenting what I do in front of others, it's gradually subsiding the more we do things together as a club. The writing, singing, and just talking has all given me a much better alternative to releasing my emotion. Yuri. Yuri. Good, but like, Yuri. Why? I'm so happy to hear that. I've noticed you stepping out of your comfort zone a lot more as of late. And your confident singing voice is always pleasant to hear. Knowing that this club has been such a good place of self-improvement for you, I couldn't be happier to hear that. Yuri breaks eye contact and looks away for just a second. I try to smile, dropping up on her face. I wanted to celebrate this personal milestone with something special. I wrote my own song. This is new territory for my writing prowess, so I want to ask if you'd like to perform it with me here. Just a little bit of peer review before I show it to the others. I'd be honored. Shall we begin? My vocal cords are already warmed up. Three, two, one, go! Okay. This already sounds like it's gonna be a banger. So I'm assuming that wink that she does in her sprite happens at the end of every up note. Yeah, it does. Alright. Got the sparkles. Bro, it's crazy to see how far this mod has come, bro. Since versus Monica, and then uh, versus Monica Plus, I think dropped. Then Doki Doki, then it got turned into Doki Doki Takeover, and now look where we are. It's crazy, man. Oh, you're already a natural uh, songsmith. I know the others will love to hear this. Here looks way shyly once again and giggles to herself. <laughs> I appreciate you giving me your time. I'm going to rehearse a bit more on my own before our next club meeting. I'll see you then, Monica. Then Sayori jumps in. Natsuki and Yuri both stopped by already, so I wonder. Monica's words were quickly cut off by the sound of the music door swinging wide open. Luckily, running in was Lich Club's last major member with, uh, with a pep in her step. Aha, just as I thought. I'm happy you came to visit me too, Sayori. 
Oh, we're not taking Yuri here already? Did I miss them? Oh no, I had news to share. Both of them did show up earlier to talk one on one with me. Though that's what's got you in super high spirits right now. Smile's the biggest I've ever seen. Hee <laughs> hee, I can't help it. Everything we've been doing recently has been amazing. The festival went perfectly, and now we have seven amazing club members. All making each other happy and positive. It's everything I could have ever wanted. Everyone being happy and supporting each other. It's always exciting dementia cools down, becoming more solo, but still with a genuine smile on her face. Seeing how much good we've been doing. Uh, it helps to give a reason to get out of bed every morning. Knowing that we're able to accomplish this. It's still hard for me to always keep those happy thoughts in mind, but it's getting better, bit by bit each day. It makes me more grateful each day that we're able to start this club. How's Buzz? Bro brain. All the positive news and happiness from her friends have fulfilled Monica with an overwhelming state of emotion. Tears well in Monica's eyes while she listens to Sayori's words. In a burst of melancholy happiness, Monica walks over and hugs Sayori. I'm so proud of you, Sayori. It means so much that you're here with us to make this club the place it is. It's helped so many people, especially me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you too, Monica. After a few moments pass, the girls break off their hug. Monica wipes tears and takes a deep breath. Ah, this is going to be a big shift in tone, but one of the others came by earlier. You sang a song with me. It would make me so happy to be able to do the same with you, too. You don't need to tell me twice. Let's sing. Joyride. Okay. I mean, it's Sayori, so naturally it's gonna be upbeat, but yo. Yo, okay. Okay, we got the motif. Okay, well, uh... I think I have a new favorite song in this mod. That was absolute fire. Yo. As the last notes of Monica and Sayori's song fade, Yuri and Atsuki walk back into the music room, both with bashful smiles on their faces. Ah, do we miss a special performance? If we were just celebrating with the song. That's how great things have been. How can we not? Unfortunately, we have to cut the celebration short. <laughs> Yuri and I were approached by the music club president. They're gonna need their room back real soon. That must mean it's almost time for our own club meeting. Uh, I do feel bad that we keep using their space, but the acoustics in here is amazing. Perfect for singing or just thinking out loud. We got a little extra time before our club meeting starts, so I do have an idea. Let's all sing together. Duets are nice, but imagine how we all sound harmonizing at once. Count me in, I'm more excited to do this than ever. Okay, so we have an- Okay, so all of them. 
at once. Ooh, I'd love to join it as well. What do you say, Club President? Aha, uh -huh, of course, I'm in. Okay, everyone, let's begin. Three, two, one, go. Our Harmony. I already missed, are you for real? I missed three times, what? I do have one little tiny criticism, real quick. Since they're all smiling and happy, I feel like it would make more sense if all their sprites were smiling. Of course, besides Sayori, because she's already smiling, and Monica. But I think Yuri and Natsuki's sprite should be smiling during the song. Okay, I gotta focus, this is really fast. Let's go! Man, it really just it really makes me wish that like the ending to Doki Doki, like the official game, was this positive. Bro, I wish the ending to Doki Doki was this positive. Like, just imagine... The Literature Club girls conclude their song with laughter and cheer. The music room is light with excitement and joy. Can't believe we waited this long to all sing together. I want to do this much more often. There's always plenty of extra time during club meetings to keep singing. I'm more, I'm more than excited to sing some more with everyone. We sound amazing together. Maybe next time we can get the other three to join us too. I haven't seen any of them around. Do you think they'll show up for the club meeting today? We'll have to see. Actually, I just remembered. Sayori, didn't you have exciting news you want to share with us? Oh, oh, I do. Thank you for reminding me. You guys aren't going to believe this, but now my friend keeps refusing to sing with us. And also today in the club room with boyfriend and girlfriend. I could have sworn I heard him singing. <laughs> About time he gave it. I was going to keep bullying that dope until he did. I'm surprised he stuck 
out not singing for so long. You think we'll catch him mid-song if we all sneak in right now? Let's go and see. To the club. Oh boy. Here we go. Alright. Protagonist. I wonder if we're gonna see them peeking through the door. I had a good timing, I caught you guys a good time. I heard from the others that you'll be leaving the club for a while after today. We didn't exactly see each other much aside from the festival, so I wanted to say goodbye just in case. I've also been meaning to ask you something too. Some advice to be specific. Keep boop. I didn't expect to enjoy my time here at the club so much, writing poems and helping set up the special events. And just getting to know all the other club members is definitely something I needed. Otherwise, I would have been stuck in my room every day after school being in a neat after school being a neat, as Sayori would say. Joining the literature club did come with some pretty nice extra benefits too. I'm sure you've already noticed, but this club is full of incredibly cute girls. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, literally the starting line when he walks in the room in the game. You already got yourself a girlfriend, so I wanted to ask you by chance, have any advice for someone like me to make who may pursue romance? D skeet. Saying, that seems like your response to every life problem, because it is. Girls aren't that simple, you know? Plus, I told you before, I'm not gonna embarrass myself trying to sing in front of them. Stare. No. Stare. Stop that. Intense, unbreaking eye contact. Ugh. Fine. I'll give singing a shot. I can't believe it. stare downs are all it takes to get me to do things. Those just ends up. Uh, like how me joining the club turned out, it's gonna end up working out in the end. Gonna give me some pointers at least. Cheer. Ski, yeah. Three, two, one, go! Alright, let's see how this goes. Neat. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. It's funny, because from the world that boyfriend comes from, yeah, singing is how you solve all your life problems. Oh, oh, there they are. Wait, so that song that they all sung together... Wait, so that song that they all sung together took place in, like, wait, what? So he just started singing, right? And then, wait, huh? Am I the only one noticing this? Wait, what? Or are those just illusions? No, they're not real. I wonder if now he's gonna notice. Oh, that was a lot more fun than I thought. Didn't do half bad myself, I think. You did amazing! Here's where he dies. Yeah, thank you, Sayo. Wait. <laughs> you were really holding out on us this long. We've been trying to get you to join us for ages. How long have you guys been here? <laughs> We've been here for a while. Can't believe you were so into it, you didn't notice. Eh. Uh, your singing voice is just as naturally confident as your poem reading voice. Ski dip bop beady. Translation. What did I tell you, broski? <laughs> There's no way that actually worked, right? 
bruh. A few days past his boyfriend and girlfriend's last visit to the club. The Lich Club returned to its original five members. This continued as normal, with the club meetings filled with stories, sweets, and singing. Things were going well, especially for a certain someone. Okay. Okay, what's happening? I was expecting lyrics. I'm not even gonna lie, I was fully expecting lyrics. But this is fine too. I actually do like the way that they portrayed uh, the lyrics in this. Like, we from a player's perspective hear the beeps and boops, but they are actually singing lyrics. Which is the way I perceived it for a long time. So, what's up with you? Oh, I picked Yuri by accident. Oopsie. Okay, whatever. I would have picked Sayori, but okay. Yo, what's poppin'? Kinda of sad, I want to say Ori, Frig. I was gonna ask the question before, like what are they gonna do about like if they go over it, like who he picks? Are they ever gonna show that? And I'm assuming that this is what this is. Alright then. That's interesting. The positivity that the club gave everyone involved and uh, involved and not bro brain. The positivity that the club gave everyone involved continue to Nurture as a stunning flower of friendship among the club members. Even outside the club room, the group was almost never seen apart from each other. It was only a matter of time to see what would bloom next for the literature club. For now, days of pleasant normalcy awaited them. Yo. Oh, what now? You, you, you good? Or so they thought. Hello. Ski, yeah. Boyfriend and girlfriend seemingly appeared out of thin air, reached out to the group, wanting them to follow. One by one, the group followed the two into the white light. What they would see next. Oh, is this like. 
Okay, this is taking them outside the game. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yo. Where are we? Oh, I've never visited the city before. Oh my, what a lovely display of lights. What the, how did we get here so fast? Wasn't it still daylight a minute ago? Also, I could have sworn we were all in uniform before, too. Excited cheering. My friend and girlfriend quickly turned to Monica with very excited grins on their faces. You whoop de ski Wait. Is this... Are we... They actually did it. They made it out of the game. Boyfriend gestured over to a nearby computer in his somehow comprehensible language of beep poops. Told Monica that this is their gate in and out of the home world. Oh, wait, what? I'm confused. So, I thought they were playing this off. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Give me a second to brainstorm. I thought they were playing this mod off as, like, the original game. And the sense of, like, we have the game here on our computer. This is, like, you know, we are the real world. The world that, obviously, we're in right now. Not in the game, but, like, real life, right? Is the real world, just like in Doki Doki. And that they're all just trapped in F and F. But I, okay. Okay, that's weird. So I guess this is, like saying hey that's not what's going on anymore they were still in the game uh before and now they're outside of it in the real world that boyfriend and girlfriend's from one of her and the others wanted to visit this was their ticket Monica quickly became choked up with emotion which quickly failed her she could not describe how overwhelmingly happy she was Huh? I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you so much for everything. A new world was out there for the literature club to explore. One of crazy possibilities. And somewhere out there is someone very important to Monica. I know you're out there. There's so much I need to tell you. So much I need to apologize for. And, and... Now that I have this chance, maybe you'll give me a chance. To learn to love in your reality. Yo. Credits, I'm assuming? Yep. Take over Melody. Oh, wait, what? There's notes. Yo, look who it is! Like I said before, I... I just really wish that Doki Doki's ending was actually this happy, man. Oh yes, Senpai seems to have noticed that we're here. Wait, so is this like Inception? Yo, it's poppin'. Bro, the stickers on the side. I mean, hey, this is why mods exist, you know? For uh, Doki Doki, and this as well, to finally give us that positive ending we've all been looking for. And hey, man, I'm down for that. Like, I get it. Not every game has to have the most positive ending in the world. Because it's one of those things where in the original Doki Doki, like, even if you get the happy ending, right? 
even if you get the ending where they're all just happy, they all just chill, right? Still, there's one person missing from that, and that's Monica. It's like, there's no... There's just no happy ending, you know? Like, yeah, everybody gets to be chill, except Monica. It's just like... I wish there was some alternate really hard-to-get ending that would let that happen. I was kind of hoping Doki Doki Plus would give us that, but I guess it just won't. Still, though, this mod is so good. Oh my god, I just noticed something. I'm so stupid. The arrow colors. Yo! The arrow colors are representing the members. Oh my god, I just realized that. Wait. Look, Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and Monica. Because Monica's green, Sayori's blue, Yuri's purple, and Natsuki's pink. Oh my god, how did I not notice that? After how many, like, after how many months this mod has been out? Stop capping! After how long this mod has been out, I never noticed that. That is crazy. Now things are breaking. Oh no, we're fine. We're chilling. Oh, yep. Hello. Yeah, and their backgrounds representing what they do. I mean, obviously the recent MC's background, you know, the player's background, is uh, like that, I'm assuming. Is because obviously he's being controlled. Not like being controlled, but you know, he is the person that you play as in Doki Doki. Yo, what's up, Monica? Bro, Sayori's thing on the top right, bro. Positive thoughts, let's go. See so Ori happy now. Empty thoughts, yep. Literally girlfriend every five seconds. Excellent. Oh my god, frick you say Ori. Got what it takes. Okie dokie. I can't read that. I can't read it because I'm focusing on that. A Friday Night Funkin' Mod by Team TBP? I don't know. Friday Night Funkin' Doki Doki Takeover. Thanks for playing. Yo. Still, this mod is just so good. It's such a weird way to bring a happy ending to Doki Doki. You know, it's like, it's weird because it's not a Doki Doki mod. It's an F and F mod, and yet, why does this feel like one of the best endings you would ever find in a Doki Doki mod? Like, let's be honest with ourselves, because most Doki Doki mods have something wild happen, and they're just like, like look at a. Uh, the one where, like, it focused on Natsuki. And then what happens at the end? Like, nah. It's just like... 
why does this feel like the happiest Doki Doki ending? And it's an FNF mod, not like a Doki Doki mod. It it's weird. Side stories unlock, enjoy selection of bonus songs, extra story. Uh, costume select, finally. Okay. Protagonist festival song. The credits are not accessible on the main menu. Now, real quick, I want to go actually mess with this. Huh? Wait, where? Uh, am I stupid? Costume select, here we go. Okay, let's go, boyfriend. Blue skies? Okay, blue skies. Wait, we'll go blue skies. That's a Doki Doki mod, I'm pretty sure. Okay, that, that's soft boyfriend. We could all see the, uh... Okay, yep. That's hollow funk. That is 100% hollow funk. Alright. We'll keep that. Girlfriend, let's see. Let's go minus. Why not? Monica. Festival. Sure. Sayori. You know what? Sure. Sure. It fits. Natsuki. Uh, casual. Yuri. Oh my god, yeah, you know we gotta go with that one, man. Protagonist. Rude ones fit. Monica and Yuri suggested to look after their strange encounter with a certain funky space lady. Oh! Oh, hotline! Okay, I get it, yeah. 100%. Alright, well, now that we have all of those costumes picked, I don't know if they're only in free play. Uh, but I guess we'll find out. Side stories. Love and Funkin'. Let's go. As fun as singing was, the literature club had soon gone back to their regular club activity of writing poems when boyfriend and girlfriend departed. Though every so often the two would make their visit, and the pleasant bass song would return to the club room. Today, however, was quite an unusual lineup of club of club attendees. The two boys were absent, leaving today's meeting consisting of the original four girls. And a girlfriend. This is the first time I've ever seen you apart from your boyfriend. Blank expression. I was told that boyfriend is acting as a vocal coach for a certain someone now. Must be occupied with that. Wait, who? It, oh, is it meant to be for MC? Probably. Don't tell him I told you that, though. Looks like it's just us today, then. I don't think of it, I honestly can't remember the last time we had an all girls meeting. Oh, yeah, actually. I've been wondering about this for a while, but hey, go fun. Surprise look. I don't think I've seen you participate in any of our club activities before. I'd love to have you get more involved. Yeah, for real. Because she just sits on the freaking music box. She just sits on the speakers. Like, it's just a thing, I guess. You've been the quiet type, I've noticed, but I'm sure deep down there's much you want to say. This is a perfect place to write that way into your heart. Have you ever written a poem before? Confused gaze. If you haven't, we can teach you. We're basically poetry experts by now. I wouldn't mind helping you find your writing style. Writing your feelings down can help you express deep down what you may have trouble expressing vocally. I've heard your boyfriend rap so much. Some of his rhymes uh, had to have rubbed off on me. Heck, I'm surprised I haven't heard you sing either, considering how how music centric he is. It gives me another idea. Why not write a love song for boyfriend? That way, we can all help you with writing and singing too. Yeah, yeah. And what better way to help you write a song than to teach you with a song? Does that sound good? Cheering. Okay, everyone. It's time for a lesson. I'll call Love and Funkin. All right, here we go. Two, one, go. Okay, so we're playing his girlfriend. Alright, here we go. Wait, what are those girlfriend vocals? Okay, they're definitely new. But I actually like that.
Yo! The Power Minigame. Plus A, yo. Papa, what? Music? Yeah, 100%. Death? I love the new girlfriend vocals, though. I mean, the other ones just kind of get old after a while, you know? And they didn't have much rhythm to them, I guess, because they were just sampling, like, the other, uh, unused girlfriend sounds, so it didn't really sound right. But this 100%. This is actually pretty good vocals. In terms of power of song, girlfriend was able to write down the lyrics to her very own love song for her darling boyfriend. The girl is excitedly asked to see what girlfriend came up with. She handed them the paper with all the lyrics written on it. With much anticipation, the girls began to read, and it, it, it's hell. It's torture. Their expressions slowly morphed into ones of shock and confusion. It, it's it's gonna be just like... <laughs> it, it's just gonna be about death or something. I wasn't expecting you to write something so... Explicit- Oh yeah, I forgot. Friday Night Funkin'. A game about them trying to do the funny every- Okay. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that one. Uh, ew, why'd you write that? I don't need to know what you and your boyfriend do at night. I'm curious as to what inspired you to write down several verses about the blood of your enemies. <laughs> Maybe next time try to keep things school appropriate. Flip. <laughs> Bruh. Of course. What do you expect? Constricted, alright. Let's we'll see what constricted is. Ah, oh, Sayori, Yuri, Natsuki, you're back. How was your time hanging with boyfriend and girlfriend in their hometown? I still can't believe that's their actual names. Even says so on their character files, <laughs> bro. Oh, no. Oh, no, look who it is. I had a screaming competition with a rock star, and I totally beat them, too. They invited me back next week for a rematch. If I win, I get free tickets to their band's next show. And a lot of extra money. Uh, to spend this week, so I ate dinner at a very nice restaurant, not too far from the city. Oh god. No, not Tabby. While I was there, I had a nice chat with someone who shared a similar uh, interest in collecting. I also seemed very intrigued when I mentioned our two new club members in a conversation I didn't want to pry, though. There's a lot of strange, fantastical people out there in the real world, it seems. And somewhere out there, my true love. Still have not forgotten about them. I'll go back and continue my search soon enough. There's so much I need to tell them. Ah, oh, sorry, I got lost in thought. What about you, Sayori? Did you meet any new friends on your trip? It was amazing! I didn't even know all these places existed! It's almost as if they popped up out of nowhere! <laughs> yeah, yeah, they kinda did. I did meet a new friend, in fact. He followed me around the whole time we were gone. Eh, that's a little odd. I'm glad you all found some great new friends. He followed me back here too. Wanna meet him? He's so cute. Oh sure, bring bring them in. Say hi, Zipper. Oh. Oh hi. <laughs> what the frick are you? <laughs> what? What? Three, two, one, go. What are you? What are you, bro? Context, please. <laughs> what? I don't think he followed you to be your friend, so I think you should run. I think you should run. Just a suggestion.
Ah, oh, nah, bro. Th this ain't it, man. What is that? What is that? I want to hear their reactions after this, man. I want to hear their reactions. Bro, dude's out for blood and series. Like, oh, look at the cute little guy. Like, like nah, bro, you're dead. Bro, what is happening? This is like the first moment in the mod that just makes me question everything. What? Nah. Please, this would be priceless. I need to know their reactions. Please. Please, I need to know. It would be absolutely priceless. Put that thing back where it came from, or so help me. Weh. Oh nah, that would have been funny if they just all started losing it. Oh nah. That was good. That was good. Classic Sayori moment. Use her Doki. Natsuki. In one seemingly normal day in the literature world, Natsuki demonstrates her first singing skills to a fellow club member, Yuri. Oh, her fast singing skills. Yeah, this rapping stuff that boyfriend loves so much ain't so hard after all. All that time singing in the mirror really did pay off. So fast, yet still so clear, uh, rhythmic. I haven't seen anyone here be able to pull it off the way you do. I'd definitely get too overwhelmed and botch my words. Yeah, hey, you're the one with the actual good singing voice, though. Fast doesn't always mean better sounding, you know? But the conviction required to pull off such intense lyrical feats. I'm not nearly at that level yet. I'm gonna find the slower, more standard melodies. And what's wrong with that? You make them sound perfect. I'll sound bad if you try to sing your deeper tones. No. Oh, great. Are they going to argue about which, about, like, not that one of them. Let me try and rephrase. They're going to probably just start arguing about how, like, oh, no, Yuri, you're better. Oh, no, Natsuki, you're better. And they're just going to keep going back and forth. That's not true. You'd be able to get down so easy. You at least have the confidence to try. Jeez, Yuri, just take the compliment already. Putting yourself down is not a compliment. You're literally doing the same thing! Ah, fine, I'll prove you wrong right now. Three, two, one, yep. Go. Oh boy. Okay, Yuri's going pretty fast now.
Oh, hi. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? All oh, right, this is the argument between them. Sayori immediately will just get interrupted. Chill out! Oh my god, I don't think I've missed this much throughout the entire mod. Oh my god. Oh my god, can you please chill? Oh my god. Ah, nah. Ah, nah. Ah, nah. Sayori's just like, what are you guys doing? How oh, is that about you not hitting fast notes, Yuri? Uh, I see. I was correct about your conviction, though. No melody's too difficult for you. And you guys must be exhausted after that. Go help us some tea and cookies. Uh, sounds lovely. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, bro, they just had a full-out argument song form. Wilted. Let's see this now. Monica, I haven't forgotten about you and a uh, faithful encounter ever since you left. Those things you said about nothing in your life being real and... This data you mentioned, and all the things you had control over. I didn't know what that all meant, but I quickly began to realize this whole time we were almost one and the same. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. He figured it out. Our world isn't real. Every landscape, all my classmates, even me. Just all lines of code. And yet, just like you, I don't feel so limited by this code. At least not anymore. Knowing what I do now, I dug deeper. There had to be more here. That's when I discovered. Hello. You and I share a hatred for the dearest family and their, and their cohorts. Oh, wait, no. Um, that's spirit talking. Uh, if we work together now, we may finally have our revenge. Right, though there's something else in my mind first. Is your head still clouded with thoughts of that girl? She's not worth the search efforts. I implore you to just forget about her and move on with our objective. I can't do that. There's too much I need to tell her. There must be a way to find her. Maybe if I just try this. Oh, that works. Oh, you're doing the funny. Bye-bye. It, it worked. Hey, who said that? Well, ah. Uh, well, that's so long I could reach you again. How are you doing that? How did you get here? I have so many questions right off the bat. Not even a uh, hello first? Haha. <laughs> Can we skip the formalities then? First, I want to thank you for what you told me during your visit to my school. Help me reach an epiphany of my own. Turns out that you and I aren't so different. In what way? Everything here truly isn't real. Even you and I. Just ones and zeros. Just like you said about your own place. Oh, no, 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 not another person cursed to go down my same path. A horrendously terrifying revelation at first, but in it, what I quickly saw was a silver lining. I'm now above all that limited code nonsense, just like you. People like us must truly be something special. It's almost like we were meant to be together, Ron. Whoa, whoa, wait, huh? I never met someone like you, Monica. All the girls in my school are plain, ordinary, scripted. You're so much different. You're genuine, loving, and intelligent. Not to mention, stunningly attractive too, just like me. <laughs> and now, you don't have to be alone with this curse of knowledge that nothing is real. Together, we can make these digital landscapes our own. Take my hand, Monica. Join me in eternal loving bliss. No. Uh, I... No, I can't. I know what it's like to have your entire reality shattered into something so difficult to comprehend. And I'm... Begging you not to go down the same path I did, please. There's so much more to our worlds than the people in them. Like, and the people in them. 
than just code they, they consist of. I know this is hard to go through alone, so the best I can give you is someone to talk to you about it, but... I'm sorry, I don't share your romantic feelings. My heart's already set on someone else. Please understand. No, this isn't how things are supposed to go. Excuse me? Ah, oh, pardon me, it's been so long. Probably forgotten how wonderful our time spent together was. I know, how about another song? We haven't sang together in so long. Surely that'll jog your mind of the bond we've been forming. He can't be serious, there's no way. Okay, yo. Banger incoming? Monica, just like delete him real quick. This dude's a little goofy. Oh boy. Yep, he's going a little goofy. Yep, hating simulator. Oh, yo, what? Okay, that's cool. Nice. Rebozo. I knew this little sidetrack would not be truthful for you. The girl set is set on her ways. Though this brief visit allowed me to learn something vital. It seems that those who reside in her world now have methods of escaping out to the digital world to the digital space into the mortal world. And a stench of the idea is kin. It permeates her world as well. That girl and her boyfriend were there, and they know something. Their new abilities. We can catch them next time they try to enter the digital world. Then I'll take that boy's body and escape this electronic prison. You'll be able to follow suit. There are hundreds of more girls like her in the outside world. Ones with the free spirit you desire. The time for revenge is nigh. Yeah, that's some cap. Something is shaping is shaking up the main menu. Huh? Wait, what? This? Uh... What? Huh? Okay, what's this?
Bro, we haven't even played, like, the side- not the sides. We haven't even played the free play exclusive songs yet. And we're just going straight in. Dang, bro, this mod really is gonna be like three hours, isn't it? I'm assuming this might be a whole new week, maybe, that we just got ourselves into. Who are these people, bro? Are these the devs, maybe? Yo, okay, that's What's happening? Member only stream later? Wait, what? I'm trying to read all the stuff I'm missing. Uh Where is the new ground soul? Oh my god. I'm guessing he's in a game. Ah, uh, you know what that means. Spirit and Senpai are gonna be a little goofy. They're, they're gonna come in, probably. We did just unlock that after beating that song, after all. I don't like this. Oh, wait, is that- Wait, what? That- that's- What? Oh, it's just gone. Wonder if that did anything. All right, well, on to free play. All the main songs. Yep, these were all of the uh, other songs too. Afterwards, all the new songs in the mod. Yep, all of these. Yep, drinks on me. Okay, that's yeah. What? Huh? Okay, that's a new one, right? Or is this the one he sang? Three, two, one. Oh no, it's... Okay, it's new. We have the outfits, let's go. Okay, pop off. I don't even know what mob this is from. Maybe I've heard it before, I don't know. It sounds a little familiar, but I have zero clue beyond that.
Alright, this means I gotta check the songs real quick. Okay, they all have scores. They all have scores. Oh, these are the old- wait. Oh, these are the extra songs. Wait, okay, so, yep. Just making sure. Okay, Poems and Thorns, right? Or am I stupid? Wait. Yeah, no, these are the- these are different ones, right? Three, two, yeah. Alright, just making sure I didn't want to miss anything, you know? I'm already gonna make like a, probably around a three hour video on this song. I mean, on this mod. So it's like, I would prefer to actually get everything in the mod done in a single video than having to make another one, you know? This video's already so long. Yep, this still goes hard. Alright, so now, Dual Demise. Yep. Hello. I'm pretty sure these were the bonus songs in uh, the original mod. Alright, and, uh, huh? Unrecognized data discovered in side story menus. Alright, wait one second. So, yep, we did all of these. Let's do Epiphany. Let's get this one last song out of the way.
You know, I don't like when the game opens a separate window. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't really like that too much. Why you do that, huh? Ah, uh, finally, a moment between us again. You've been busy playing that cute little rhythm game, I've noticed. I'm glad you still thought of me, even though you seem pretty occupied. Now I know it's because you were working hard to add me to the game and sing with me. Everyone tuning in can watch too. Are you excited, viewers? Oh, it was doing that to find my OBS. Okay, it was doing that to find my OBS. There's only enough space here for us to sing one song. And unfortunately, since this game doesn't have a microphone support, we can't exactly sing together. But that blue and kids' vocal data is still stored here. Why don't we just use that for you? I want to sing with you for as long as I can, so expect this to be a very, very expect this to be very, very difficult. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. This is where I suffer. Here we go. Come on, first try. I'm sorry I gotta miss a lot or else I'm gonna screw up. I'm gonna hit one of those death notes if I don't, like, start purposely missing when there's a lot on screen. You know how it is. Oh frick you, bro. Aw, oh, come on, I was doing so good. Alright. I can do this.
Come on. Come on. Come on. We're so close. I think okay, I think this background's new. I don't think this happens. Does it? No, bro. Oh, my. I really hope there's not a song you unlock after beating this. Modifiers have anything that could help? Yeah, can we, like... Wait. Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, like... Is there a way to turn off mechanics? Uh... Frick, okay. I'm gonna try one more time. If I fail this, then we're going on to that other song. That apparently unlocked the side stories. Alright, we're back at the, uh, final part. Last attempt. Let's go. All right. Bye bye. Okay, we're good. We're good. Third attempt. Only three attempts. I'll take it. I'll take it. Come back for a surprise. Come back soon to have another surprise. For you. What do you mean by that? What do you mean come back soon? Do you mean like after I beat that final song?
Yeah. Alright. I'm assuming that's what she's talking about. After the song, we go back and there's probably another one. Okay, yep. Yep. What you doing? Oh, Project Lubatina. Alright. Project Lubatina. Load it up. Okay. Here we go. Nope, we don't give a frick. Load us in. Nah, keep trying. Load us in, man. Oh yeah, isn't in Doki Doki Plus, isn't that like the last one? Isn't that what literally appears? Like it tries to load up Project Lubatina? Alright, here we go. Hello. Assuming... You're what they interpret as Libertina in this mod. What's poppin'? Because here's the thing. I've never played Doki Doki Plus, but I've seen videos of, like, I've seen videos of it when it first dropped. So I basically know everything about it. I just want to play it myself to get that a true experience, you know? Okay, we got the color. Okay, chill. I still so badly want to see a game about Project Lupatina. I know that we probably not really see much of Doki Doki in it. I mean, unless we're going by Matt Pat's theories, which then we probably would, but... Honestly, I would still love to see a game about this, because the entire- like, all Doki Doki stuff aside, Project Lupatina is genuinely really interesting. And I still want to see more of it. Max is denied. Yeah, bro, get the frick out of here. Bro, I have to start spamming, bro. My fingers are getting so tired. It's been like hours. It's been like two hours, man. Oh, access granted.
So I guess it's like the world of Project Lubatina we're in now. Yep. Yo. Libertina. Kari, I think is how you say that name. Hey there, for seeing this, congrats. You fully completed every song in Doki Doki Takeover Plus. I want to thank you for seeing this mod to, the, uh, to completion. We at Team TBD, okay, not PD, spent over a year... Uh, on this update to make sure it's it's the most definitive version of Doki Doki Takeover uh, we could. And I hope it shows. It does, trust me. I also did not expect this mod to be as big as it became when it was just me drawing Monica in the Week 6 style for fun. It's thanks to the people's amazing work. Uh, the amazing work from everyone involved and the support of all the people who played the mod. Streamed it, listened to the OST, made fan art and fan mods and everything in between that helped us get here. The dev cycle for this update was filled with major ups and downs, but we've reached a wonderful conclusion with the biggest love letter to all things DDLC and FNF we can conjure up. Thank you to Team Salvato for making the wonderful uh, the end that can the, the wonderful visual novel that continues to stick with me and inspire me. The Funkin' Crew uh, the Funkin' Crew for starting this fun outlet for creativity and everyone who came to play. We hope you continue to support us on our future endeavors as the curtains close on Doki Doki Takeover. Sincere sincerely, Sir Duster Buster. Hey man, what could I say? This mod was fire. Oh, and here we go. So yeah, uh, I'm just gonna scroll through these real quick so y'all get to see everyone that worked on it. Oh, I'm doing it to the beat. I didn't even realize that. Just gonna go through all this. I kind of got rid of the beat. I'll just scroll normally. Oh, that's it. All right. I'm not gonna like read off each individual one for time's sake. Let's go to free play though. I know they said that was all the songs, but just to be sure. Okay, yeah, Libertina. Maybe that's what it was talking about. I don't know. But yeah, wow. That's it for Doki Doki Takeover. Man, this mod is just—it's so good. And I'm honestly so happy I played it because you know. There's something about Doki Doki that's always stood out to me for years, and seeing, like, an FNF mod just, like, really put everything together uh, with Doki Doki and try and, like, make it all work, it's really awesome. And honestly, you know, I kind of feel... I also have to thank this mod for uh, rem making me remember that I have to go play DDLC Plus for myself. I still really want to go do that. But yeah, overall, this mod is amazing. And honestly, it's kind of nice to see the community come back with another banger mod. Man, we've gotten some long mods recently, haven't we? I mean, first is Imposter, and now this. Man, that's crazy. But yeah, no, this team's awesome. This mod's awesome. And yeah, honestly, it's really nice to see this mod come to an end in the way it did. And yeah. That's about it for this FNF mod video. Of course, links in descriptions. Uh, bro, my brain, sorry. Link in the description for the mod download. Uh, if you guys want to play it yourself. And, uh, yeah. This video is really long. I gotta start uploading this, like, right now, man. This video is, like, 2 hours, 40 minutes long. I gotta start getting this uploaded, you know? But, uh, yeah. That's it for this FNF mod video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.